वेरी वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू फाउंडेशन ऑफ साइबर सिक्योरिटी कंसेप्ट क्लास इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव सीन बेसिक्स ऑफ साइबर क्राइम एंड वाज जस्ट टच द साइबर क्राइम ट्रेंड ओके सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस मोर अबाउट इट आई जस्ट हैव अपलोडेड थ्री मोर बुक्स ऑन द गूगल क्लासरूम फ्रॉम वेयर यू कैन डाउनलोड दोज बुक्स फॉर दट मीन्स यू आर Uh, reference and other uh, things. So we are going to discuss uh, each uh, things today. Uh, another thing that I am not going by book. By book means uh, word to word like a book. I am not teaching here. I am just uh, because uh, cri cyber crime or criminality is something which uh, we require to handle in in a different way. So what is basics of cyber crime? What is cyber crime trend? and now we are going to see what is cyber crime and information security and cyber uh, criminals so uh, we, we are going to see this uh, in a uh, new light uh, the cyber crime so just uh, say what is cyber crime so first uh, that we learn in a last uh, uh, thing about the Uh, cyber crime trend so let me uh, first uh, uh, define the crime so any act any act which intentionally or unintentionally okay carried out carried out and causing some damage or harm to there are three type of securities what we first say we say first financial financial okay then physical physical and psychological okay, which is causing some damage or harm to financial physical and psychological what you can say serenity serenity or to the life of what you can say human or animals okay. can be considered as crime okay so any act is called as crime now what is uh, so basic of cyber crime so when we say when we commit a crime so in this uh, sense uh, when we do something let's say suppose you uh, have thrown some stone just uh, in air unintentionally okay your intention is not to harm anybody but that stone actually fall down on someone's uh, it's a head and his head crack so it is called as a crime it is a crime because you actually pelted that person unintentionally without knowing so whether the whether you um, uh, commit such act uh, any anyway. so if you are committing such act committing uh, such act in the cyber world cyber world means on computer or internet hmm? is called as cyber crime another thing is that anything anything in the cyber world what we call as an activity 
or material which can threatens or damage or harm the financial physical psychological psychological uh, what you can say the um, serenity or psychological aspects of a human okay, which can threaten or damage state okay, of a human or group of humans then we can call it as a cyber crime so there are different trends in a cyber crime that we have seen yesterday so that there are uh, two trends actually uh, in uh, means committing a cyber crime or doing some crime on a cyber uh, in a cyber world uh, two uh, what you can say uh, trends basic two trends okay, fundamentally fundamentally two uh, trends are there uh there and one is called as what you can say trend based on human behavior or what we call as a psychology first thing okay so this own require technological knowledge require no or minimal technology knowledge another trend that fundamentally the second uh, number is what we call as trends based on exploitation of technology so these are requires technical expertise of certain level certain level certain level means you require a minimum uh, what you can say knowledge of that particular technology and then you can only use this things so we are going to see now these two trends first so first we are going to see the trends uh, which uh, obviously this uh, lectures i am going to upload on my youtube channel and i uh, ask you to Uh, subscribe that and i want to uh, spread news among your friends so if they want to get lectures notes you can go for that so here hey here you are having this uh, fundamental two strength so let's see what are these two uh, trends we are talking about so i'm just uh, talking now we are going to uh, say for the first trend first we are seeing uh, behavior based behavior based uh, what you can say cyber crimes so what is the behavior we all like to get appreciated we all like to get something so if someone hurts you or someone challenges you you generally go on doing something uh, like uh, say this and uh, so this behavior based are uh, what you can say uh, there are uh, the uh, behavior based cyber crimes one is called as an observation based observation based uh, this uh, you can call as a chasing uh, what you can say cyber chasing instead of saying 
cyber chasing this sometimes also called as stalking okay or sniffing these are the things for people to say for example let's say suppose you are you are having uh, a account on a facebook and someone has sent you the uh, friend message request and you found that there are two common friends with this person so you accepted that friend request now this friend request you accepted but this person uh, never sends any message there after to you simply go on checking what you are doing on the facebook what you are doing on the facebook so to get uh, whether you are at home or where you are somewhere and likewise and let's say suppose you are an uh, engineer uh, earning a good amount of money okay and you uh, you are uh, not, uh, what can say putting your home uh, photos with your car with your bike with your things and that on the facebook and one day you put say suppose your uh, data that is facebook uh, on your facebook that is you are on vacation going to uh, say somewhere out okay somewhere out for a week so this uh, one the person who you accepted as a friend is just observing that is called a sniffing okay now when you observe this thing and you know that now you are not for a week uh, or a day at your house your house is completely locked okay then they can use to broke your house broken to your house and that is what say behavior based cyber crimes so here actually no technological knowledge is required the criminal is not the hardcore cyber criminal but it's using the information on social media okay to commit certain type of crimes many people have seen such type of uh, home robberies when they have put many uh, such messages on uh, the uh, facebook or their social media handles and some people gone through that uh, uh, what can say uh, information and committed the particular type of crime so this is a observation this cyber chasing what i i call this means you are continuously observing some person for uh, something as soon as you get the correct information you actually commit the crime offline okay so this is a type of cyber crime uh, uh, crime this is a uh, i think these type of crimes are happening nowadays uh, very much now what is stalking stalking is something when you simply not observe uh, you unnecessarily send some messages and likewise so suppose you accepted the friend request of this person now this person knows your detail okay now this person knows your detail so what this person will do this person will uh, go on uh, what you can say uh, uh, sending you messages uh, which are abusive in its content okay and so it may send some uh, what you can say contraband uh, or uh, taboo things on your uh, facebook uh, account or your social media handle so that is called as stalking stalking is you are simply uh, doing something now stalking is direct stalking is there and indirect stalking is also there indirect stalking means that is a person will simply troll you okay so this person will simply troll you so that uh, you can be get defamed on the cyber world this also called as cyber defamation matlab kisi ko badnam karne ke liye hum uska jo data hai wo use karte but you won't require for such type of things too much of technical knowledge of engineering or something you simply have to know about the behavior of this things this is was observation based cyber chasing a stalking sniffing is also observation this means say suppose you are a bank manager and someone has sent you uh, some such type of uh, friend request and you accepted that accidentally now this person will simply see uh, uh, you are uh, what you can say conversation your conversation with someone what you are doing what you are not doing and likewise and then it will go on uh, using that information uh, for its own advantage okay it is uh, one type of robbery but again this is observation based uh, uh, cyber crime then second uh, type here in uh, is what we want say uh, human grid based
So here you are having fishing. Fishing is the human grade base. Fishing is of different type. One is called as net fishing. Net fishing means you are you are not having any uh, particular uh, what you can say. This is not internet fishing. I am saying net fishing means you are using a net to catch as many fishes as possible from the pond. In the same way, uh, you may create one common message and you will try to get as many what you can say victims as possible for your uh, thing and nobody is targeted means so suppose let's say suppose a criminal uh, drafted a email message like uh, dear um, uh, what you can say friend or uh, dear uh, xyz okay our system automatically selected you for the prize money of 1 lakh rupees for the prize money of 1 lakh rupees and to uh, get this prize money for 1 lakh rupees you have to register on this 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 link okay within uh, the uh, what do you say uh, to, uh, suppose within uh, 28th january so it gives very less time frame so that you won't get uh, uh, into the thinking process okay 28th january so uh, rush now okay time is going on uh, uh, so, so and this mail is sent to say thousand emails and so from where these emails are con collected from all the social media and uh, the other accounts uh, from your um, things the, the mails are collected and it's randomly it's, they are sent to say suppose uh, 100 people so what happens out of these 100 people few people will consider that may happen okay that things may happen like this and they will contact that particular number and they will say okay the thing is that you want the prize money but as per the indian government uh, structure uh, thing you require to pay the taxes for that first to get that prize money into your account so just kindly pay the 30 percent tax so of, uh, or 10 percent of tax and remaining 20 percent we will cut at the time of uh, what is the transfer of the money so to say for 1000 rupees you paid 10000 rupees to that particular account account these two or three people so why this happened because those persons fall prey to their own greed of getting more money or getting some prize and that is what we call the human greed based uh, thing another fishing is human greed based many people like appreciation appreciation and that is again the one type of human greed so if someone talks good to you you will automatically consider that person as a good person someone talks bad to you automatically consider that person as a bad person so that also can be used for example say suppose some uh, girl is having her facebook account and she posted uh, some of her uh, picture now someone who uh, sent a friend request and she accepted it accidentally okay is saying wow you are looking uh, very good and these things uh, when that person say in a comment box or something okay whether right now you are not liking it or not but maximum times we, even the boys also when they are uh, get such type of comment they started to feel what we call as some, some, something uh, 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 guard down and here they uh, seek more appreciation seeking more appreciation is also one type of greed okay when they seek more appreciation in such cases these uh, uh, what you can say criminals actually ask that person to meet in person because we commit some uh, certain type of crimes uh, for such type of appreciation cyber world is not that uh, particular but in some cases what they happens they make a very uh, pre, uh, they start making very friendly uh, conversation first okay so you get the appreciation uh, grid of appreciation hmm? and when more and more appreciation you start getting that person then that person that criminal actually sends you some type of gift on your address or on cyber world and something and then once it captures your trust through this appreciation things it can exploit you uh, means I uh, suppose this happened with uh, one uh, uh, lady actually 
she on facebook befriended with uh, someone from uh, outside india okay and then this person talk with her this lady was lonely uh, in her mid age so this talking chatting and everything actually soothed and she started you know that uh, ladies are quite uh, nurturing and they uh, uh, usually won't trust the person uh, that easily but if the person goes on uh, what you can say uh, ca- showing the caring uh, what you can say side they start trusting so she started trusting this person and she actually uh, what you can say uh, on online conversation keep uh, reveal many her secrets with this person so while revealing me when this many secrets with this person uh, and uh, so when that person caught the trust of this lady one day that person sent 20000 rupees to her look this this is a, a type of grid based uh, phishing this 20000 rupees when got uh, deposited in her account she stole that this for these these things and uh, you can uh, do so when this trust was happen first given 20000 rupees now this lady consider that he is trusting because when she said that i want to return it he say oh, wait, no 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 keep it as uh, the gift from your friend likewise and the bond become more stronger bond become more stronger but as soon as that bond become more stronger one day suddenly that person has sent a mail a message to her that he is in a very very dire condition and require 2 or 3 lakh rupees something like that okay so she lady transfer 2 3 lakh rupees but then so within a, uh, the next 2 uh, 3 th- th- hours some uh, mm, messages comes to her and within the next 8 uh, hours uh, or 9 so, so hours of time she actually transfers more than 8 uh, lakh rupees to this person considering that she he is actually in a, a bad condition so such things are in human greed base so in human greed base uh, system what happens they try to catch your greed or your trust and then betray you so net phishing is something like this that's where you try to make uh, this the the example that i have given about the lady is called as target phishing okay it's called as target phishing so uh, our spear uh, phishing okay uh, so, so when we uh, go or targeted or uh, speared phishing so when we go or uh, this uh, targeted or uh, spear phishing what happens this a uh, um, uh, people uses your emotional state or your social status and use that means many people use these things another is uh, this is what we call as a in a greedy sense some people like appreciation so in, in terms of they want to make themselves uh, as a what you can say uh, based so there is a what i call this as a award scam award scam means uh, there are some sites uh, uh, in india in outside which offer awards to you okay you simply have to uh, enter your data in their sites and they uh, uh, on your complete cv something like that and they simply offer you the awards so many uh, uh, academics fa- uh, actually uh, fail prey to such type of uh, phishing actually what happens these people collect the data okay they are they collect the data of this person and then they can use that data then they can use that data to create fake passport and other things okay uh, for so for the terrorist activities and likewise so is phishing is not always to gain uh, something uh, monetary from you sometimes it simply may taken may made for for thing but it require is require again a very less knowledge of technology so you have the net phishing uh, that is we are sending emails to many people and you are trying to get advantage from that targeted phishing you are targeting on a particular person you are trying to catch the person's trust and then you betray that person for your advantage okay with this advantage may be money or something else but for that is the way of doing the cyber crime uh, then another uh, that is human greed or human nature based uh, phishing or, or what you can say this a Uh, is a uh, targeted or spear okay spear phishing is we kya bolte hain hum 
बान के नोक पे या भाले के नोक से मछली मारते एक ही मछली मारते बहुत नहीं सो दैट इज वॉट वी कॉल एज अ टारगेट और स्पीयर फिशिंग बट हियर दिस मछली इफ यू रियली वॉन्ट टू गेट दिस थिंग्स यू मस्ट हैव टू सी दैट पिक्चर ऑफ अभिषेक बच्चन ब्लफ मास्टर ओके सो देर या हर शोन दैट इज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट बिगर मनी हैव टू गो बाय फॉर द बिगर फिश so that is what i think uh, um, so these are the things you can go for the net fishing you can go for the targeted fishing you can you can go for um, the other type of uh, say uh, things in this so i'm just asking you how understood this hello anybody any response from your side will encourage me to go further abhilash aditya aditya katya aditya sase aditya anand kadav hello mosmi yes rishikesh rishikesh hot you raise the hand so actually i want to ask that uh, what is mean by cyber chasing uh, i didn't understood cyber chasing means uh, you are just following a person everywhere on his social account what we call as a follower ओके okay, आपको ट्विटर फॉलोअर होता है बट दिस फॉलोइंग इज नॉट एज अ फ्रेंड और अ फैन ओके मीन से सपोज यू आर हैविंग अ फेसबुक अकाउंट आई सेंड अ फ्रेंड रिक्वेस्ट टू यू यू एक्सेप्टेड दैट फ्रेंड रिक्वेस्ट नाउ यू आर हैविंग अ ट्विटर अकाउंट आई सेंड अ फ्रेंड रिक्वेस्ट देयर आल्सो यू एक्सेप्टेड दैट ओके बट व्हाई आई एम फॉलोइंग यू नॉट बिकॉज आई एम योर फैन और नॉट बिकॉज आई एम योर फ्रेंड I am following you because I just want to get some advantage out of your activities, and that is I call it a cyber chasing, or is also a mild type of stalking. Here, no abusive messages were ever sent to you, but you are simply get chased by this person to observe your uh, activities. Ma many of the paparazzi uh, news uh, reporters, okay, the spy reporter, what we call. They simply okay. cyber chase the celebrities to get certain uh, things and to gain for their advantage. So that is one type of crime. Unnecessarily, okay. uh, that is cyber chasing. Stalking is something uh, when you send abusive message to someone unnecessarily. Okay, abusive messages, abusive calls, and likewise threatening and something that is stalking. Sniffing is a type of cyber chasing, but here you simply observe. the information for uh, some business type of advantage generally done by the spies thank you sir sure. so you are having here these uh, other uh, things what we call as fishing and anything so these are the human grade base uh, what is said Okay. Now, what is net fishing? That you actually got net fishing when you send an email in bulk, email in bulk to many people uh, to financially fraud them. Okay, yeah, financially fraud them. We call it as a net fishing. Targeted fishing or spear fishing means instead of sending to uh, mails to many poor people, you simply target one. a uh, greedy uh, rich person or one uh, lonely uh, rich person okay you be friend with that person or uh, using chatting and other type of uh, cyber uh, what you can say uh, things and then you use uh, that trust which you gain through the chatting or uh, be friending the person to betray that person financially so that is what we call as a spear phishing spear phishing uh, is uh, okay 
spear fishing is uh, very uh, uh, popular among this con artists con artists mein samjho unko 420 bolte hai na those uh, criminals they are generally called as a con artist so this con artist generally uses this target uh, target uh, uh, or spear fishing okay this is a human greed or human nature based uh, what you can say cyber crime another cyber crime that is based on this human is uh, the what you can say uh, basic instinct base uh, actually so when you say basic instincts we all have certain type of what you can say uh, hunger and thirst okay so what we call these are the uh, our needs something type so many people simply uh, catch you in those uh, things means by uh, say suppose someone become friend to you then they may send you something in absence material and likewise and that uh, what you can say if you are inclined towards uh, such things you may fall prey to these people so you have to be very uh, what you can say particularly careful when it comes to uh, behavior based uh, cyber crimes that's also called as a booby trap or also called as honey trap honey trap means someone becomes your uh, friend okay someone particularly many times such, such type of traps is called as a honey trap because here uh, a good looking girl photos and everything uh, creates some account and they try to catch some person and then they blackmail that person uh, you know, for financial or other advantages so that is again the human nature or human greed based uh, or can say cyber crime now this uh, saying second is i am saying about technological base and uh, this is very uh, what you can say technology based cyber crime okay. technology based so in technology based cyber crime first is the email spoofing or simply spoofing i can say but first go with the email spoofing uh, email spoofing is there website spoofing is there so what happens in website and email in website spoofing you create the dummy website which looks like the real website okay and you allow that um, uh, what you can say your uh, victims to log in into this dummy website and to give the details now to create the website and uh, uh, so the functionality such type of things you require the technical knowledge of how to create the web design and likewise to spoof it and that's why it is a technology based cyber crime so you collect the data of that person and then you abuse that person based on that particular data email spoofing is something like let's like say suppose you are sending someone e- email on your name okay and that person also sends a name so though you both know each other now third party will send email from some account but the in sender's name your email id will appear that is called as the email spoofing so the receiver will think that the email is coming from you and it is authenticate or or uh, correct email and it will respond accordingly so suppose someone sent to your parent an email dear father i am in a need of money urgently please send 10000 rupees and your email id appears there so your parent will think that mail is coming from you okay and what uh, mail is coming from you but you are saying transfer 10000 rupees and what you are saying that is there is a problem with your account so transfer to this account your friend's account okay now this friend's account is not your friend's account this is the account of the person who actually spoofed that email to spoof the email you require some technological or uh, knowledge and that is generally the computer programming knowledge uh, uh, for sending such type of spoof email so this is a technology based Uh, cyber crime technology based cyber crime is also called as spamming uh, spam mails or simply sending someone you just want uh, do not want someone to work properly 
यू जस्ट वॉन्ट टू हरेज दैट पर्सन अननेसेसरली बेस्ट वे इज सेंड अप टू मेनी स्पैम मेल्स टू हिज मेल सो ही नेवर गेट अ चान्स टू रीड हिज ओरिजिनल मेल ओके टू मेनी स्पैम मेल सो दिस इज अ वन टाइप ऑफ साइबर क्राइम दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल इज अ साइबर स्टॉकिंग ओके स्पैमिंग इज देयर ईमेल स्पूफिंग इज देयर वेबसाइट स्पूफिंग इज देयर टू स्पूफ मीन्स क्रिएटिंग समथिंग विच इज लुक्स लाइक ओरिजिनल बट इज डुप्लीकेट ओके सो स्पैमिंग इज टेक्नोलॉजी मीन्स देर हैकिंग हैकिंग रिक्वायर द अटमोस्ट टेक्नोलॉजिकल नॉलेज एल्स अदरवाइज यू कॉन्ट हैक इन टू द अदर सिस्टम्स ओके देन देर इज अ स्निपिंग बट वेन यू से स्निपिंग दिस स्निपिंग इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द सोशल मीडिया स्निपिंग विच यू हैव सेन इन बिहेवियरल बेस्ड साइबर क्राइम्स दिस स्निपिंग इज टेक्नोलॉजिकल हियर यू आर एक्चुअली ट्राई टू रीड द कम्युनिकेशन पैकेजेस एंड नॉट एक्चुअल कम्युनिकेशन विच इज हैंडलिंग ऑन द राउटर और सम गेटवेज and that is this is a technical sniffing okay so we can call this as a packet sniffing instead of for calling simply as a sniffing so this is one type of cyber crime generally uh, carried out by espionage or by the spy agencies uh, to find out what type of uh, uh, things are going on so if site spoofing email spoofing spamming hacking okay Uh, these are the uh, crimes which are uh, require uh, certain type of what you can say uh, technology knowledge then what we call as uh, software piracy okay uh, software piracy this requires again some technological knowledge because to break some software for this keys and everything you require certain technological knowledge or at least to generate the keys and something and so software piracy is also one type of technology based because uh, uh, what you can say um, the uh, cyber crime that so uh, this is these are the super trends and I mean. now we are going to see what is this uh, the next point of uh, say okay cyber crime and information security now first try to understand what is data and what is information okay. data anything uh, uh, which is uh, we collect okay in a raw format uh, about uh, some object or subject can be called as a data for example if i write here asr okay and then we say m we say dr we say ghr cm ha huh? and then we say uh, pune we say in we say uh, fc uh, sc this is simply data this is simply data now what is information information okay we we are saying what you say doctor asr okay words okay so you use the re relation here works at jhrcm okay and teaches teaches these are the relationship when you uh, actually find the relationship between these different things jhrcm teaches subject fcsc okay institute and for you sir in say jhrc in pune for you can see here so now we know that dr asr works at jhrc in pune and teaches fcsc so we got the that this uh, random things and the relation between these two things okay so when two random things okay get together with certain type of relationship and we can get the meaning out of it we can get the meaning out of it we can call it as a information and it is uh, necessary to secure both data as well as information because information is also one type of data when we say data we are not talking about any relationship between the two things for example if uh, we say here as a one okay now here you can have the serial number serial number 
you get the name Dr. Ahsan. So you have one, two, three, four, five. So these are the relations. Okay, that's that is you are saying the information. Now what what is the role of having the information security? Let's consider that if you are having a key logger function here, a key logger function which can read whatever the keys inputted from your keyboard. And let's say, suppose I am inputting like this. Okay, and here I inputted gmail.com. Okay, inputted gmail.com, then some random data, and so suddenly I added, say, a rumale, some random data, and here I am adding something like this. So, what we'll know? An analyze analysis program can find out this data and it will say okay gmail.com is entered here after this gmail.com a rumali is entered which seems to be some uh, um, coins because it's already have this information so you know that gmail.com is there a rumali is there so it can say okay this may be the password so this type of guessing is possible this type of guessing is used in snipping, packet snipping or data snipping or information snipping. So to avoid such type of things, you require to work. You require to work on encryption and decryption of this data. So when we have the data, data is generally, uh, uh, so whenever we have the data, data is here. What you can say? at the point of sender data is here uh, what we call as the internet okay and data is a reach here what we call as a receiver what we call as a receiver all these snippers they have access to the internet snippers or all attackers they have access to the internet okay so let's call attackers uh, attackers are having access to the internet so obviously the internet is a dangerous place to go through internet is dangerous place to go through so you are sending data from internet and this data must have to pass securely to the receiver just consider there are two people A and B and both are deeply uh, what you can say uh, in uh, some type of business with each other let's say this A and B are in some type of business with each other now A want to send certain message certain message that B must have to receive but in between you are having the entire marketplace in between you are having the entire marketplace through which this message is going to pass and if anybody from this marketplace get the message a and b's uh, financial physical or certain type of security is at stake so this message has to be sent in such a way that it should have to reach to b in such a way that the middle uh, man attackers or the snipers never have to get what exactly the message is. So this is what we call as the information security. So when we say information security, you have to have data or information security at the sender, data or information security at the receiving end, okay, and data and the information security at a transitional mode. So when your information is in transition mode, it must have to be in an encryption or encrypted format. And here comes the encryption and decryption in a process. So generally when we send information from A to B, this information is sent in two ways. Either in an encrypted format or in a stegnographical format. Stegno means envelope format. Aap data to send karte ho, but the reader won't get that data because it is enveloped. Now, it is enveloped or it is encrypted. Marla, 
uh, in last lecture I was uh, shown that is if I say a want to send a and if I add a with a 3 then a is a 0, 1 is b, 2 is c, 3 is d. So a will be sent on the internet as a d. a will be sent on the internet as a d. Only this b the receiver will know how to decrypt this message into its original so b will decrypt this message into its original and it will get a the correct message that is what we call as a encryption decryption technography is that you are having some garbage material okay or some photograph or something like this and in this garbage material your actual message is hidden your actual message is hidden and only B or the receiver knows how to read that hidden message. Okay, how to read that hidden message and the uh, intrude, uh, this middleman or the sniffers or hackers, they will never come to know. Okay, or even if they come to know, they require to, uh, it will require a, a very uh, large time, a very, uh, say, long time to get the message out of that particular. Uh, transmission and that's why such type of things are there uh, used in uh, when we send the information Pro most uh, often data security and data information uh, security is very very essential in the uh, cyber world okay then they are call, uh, called as a data uh, in data security they also we call as what say the point for example, so suppose A is sending message to B. A is sending message to B. Now, this person knows that A is sending message to B, but the person don't want that B have to get the message. In such cases, this third party will simply flood, okay, or simply send the, uh, too many spam messages to B. So, the B's, uh, what we can say, uh, channel input channel becomes completely congested and this A's message will never reach there or even if even if it reach there it will not uh, uh, what you can say even if it reach there uh, uh, the B will not get chance to read it due to the too many spams and B may delete that. In such cases, your system, the input system must have to have uh, some mechanism to identify spams from the original messages. That's why your email and other things, they have the categorization of the messages. Main messages, uh, promotional messages, spam messages. Uh, Likewise, so these are the different techniques that we require when it comes to data and information security. This is the second point in your uh, that is uh, cyber uh, information security. Now, how this information security uh, can affect the overall cyber crime, or uh, what type of what can say measures that we can take uh, for this. Uh, cyber crime not to happen with you and what measures we must have to take that I am going to discuss now because we are not having much time so I am not going in technical details so, so general uh, things I am going uh, discussing here so first thing always on social media on social media do not share do not share private life moments. Private life moments. Matlab, aap kahi ghumne ja rahe ho. That is your private life. Yeah? Don't share it on your social media. Okay? Add okay? moments in real time so so say suppose you are going uh, to tour from tomorrow okay 
just assume when at about 19 january you are going for a tour for 5 days and you share it on the social media that is a wrong way to share your information go to the tour enjoy everything come back to your home and then share only select photos otherwise what happens when we are in a tour let's say suppose you go to goa beach okay and you are uh, in a frenzy of uh, what you can say tourist mode you are uh, enjoying your uh, things and you are just taking photos uh, videos and everything and you are sharing it on social media because you just want to share everything with your friends and you know that not all uh, moments of our life are shareable some require to be kept private now what happens many people when they go on tourism they just go on sharing too many photos one or two photos is okay we just we can say that is uh, we go to the particular things and when we say this why i am saying that do not share private life moments in real time zone when say real time zone means uh, when you are actually enjoying those moments okay actually this is only the true thing here do not share private life moments because they are the private private means must have to be known to only those people who actually participated in that moments आप और आपके चार दोस्त लोग मिलके घूमने गए हैं ओके दे दो मोमेंट्स यू कैन चेरिश यू कैन शेयर विथ ओनली दो फोर पीपल्स बट डू इट्स नॉट नेसेसरी टू शेयर दैट एंटायरली विद द अदर पीपल अदर पीपल यू कैन से आफ्टर दी मोमेंट और आफ्टर दैट यू मीट नॉट ओके दिस इज ऑन सोशल मीडिया इफ यू रियली वॉन्ट टू सिक्योर योर डाटा और इन्फॉर्मेशन सोशल मीडिया इन्फॉर्मेशन ना वेन ब्राउजिंग always check for https do not open any site which is not https okay hypertext transfer protocol secure shell or secure secure hypertext transfer protocol generally people uh, uh, people use uh, this uh, size http only and http if you are on this uh, so thing this is vulnerable to cyber attack this is vulnerable to cyber attack so if you open such type of site https okay this can cause a problem another thing okay internet is full of uh, what you can say contraband and what we call contraband means prohibited by law and contraband and what we can say abuse material simple rule try not to visit means say suppose you want to see some movie okay just release movie and uh, you are not getting that movie anyway and so you you are visiting to some channels or to some website from where you can download that movie freely or you can see that movie free okay or uh, without its release official release then that is a contraband abusive information okay pornography these things are there on internet full try not to visit i am not saying this human nature is there but just not uh, always uh, keep in mind and another things keep away yourself from dark net or onion browsing How many of you know about the onion browsing? Yeah. Okay. How many of you know? Okay, you know. Yes. Yes, Satyam. Satyam. 
विश्वकर्म ओके वेदांत तपाडिया यू नो या ओनियन राउजिंग यू नो यस सर यस कैन यू टेल टू द योर फ्रेंड्स व्हाट इज ओनियन राउजिंग ओनियन और द राउटर ब्राउजर इज अ ब्राउजर ओके वेयर वी कैन एक्सेस द डार्क वेब और डीप वेब या so the best example for this is your uh, tar browser yeah hai na onion browsing uh, you are on tar network and other networks are there dark net don't go keep away yourself from that because what happens generally this onion browsing won't uh, give your physical location to the uh, your uh, mm, what can say the uh, other people but uh, then uh, your pc may get vulnerable because this is full of expert hackers and other people and you may get exposed to certain type of uh, what you can say the material on the internet which is uh, just not contraband sometimes they are consider as the uh, most fatal to security of humanity by the many governments and if you uh, accidentally uh, say open the such links because when you are using the tar browser okay you can uh, you may open any link on that and such cases uh, you may go uh, what can say uh, in the surveillance mode and don't consider that dark net or onion browsing is something which is not under surveillance by the government it is actually uh, the project created by the government agencies uh, um, actually uh, the spy agencies from the different governments and they are keeping watch on the criminals this uh, only advantage is that it won't leave any trail so it become quite difficult to trace the culprit but still the things are uh, can be traceable by the spy agencies if they require okay and so uh, if possible if you really want to uh, safeguard yourself first do not share your private life moments unnecessarily on the uh, social media in a real time zone aapko agar share bhi karne hai aap kahin ghum ke aaye ho to after 2 3 days you can share one or two photos but don't share the all the moments then internet is full of contraband material a visual material try not to visit those contraband or abusive material uh, the most of uh, the time the pornographic material and other materials are there uh, piracy is thing and then keep away yourself from the dark net unless and until you won't get uh, uh, enough techni- technical or you can say awareness okay do not try to use the tar browser or uh, that uh, what can say the other browsers are there Uh, onion browsing okay uh, to browse the internet so uh, this is uh, about the today's lecture we are going to see uh, these uh, details uh, cyber crime information security uh, and uh, especially the criminals and what is the cyber criminals in uh, the in, uh, next uh, few lecture after the completion of the first unit we are going to have one assignment on it that you have to write you are having total four assignment one assignment per unit and each assignment will carry uh, uh, sir 25 marks okay so um, we will consider uh, after from this all assignment i will cal- cal- compute uh, the uh, or you can say your internal uh, exam which are not your term work mark okay okay and so i think that uh, you will not have much questions in that now if you are having any questions you can ask uh, shall we stop here now hello so i'm just uh, stop uh, stopping now uh, the lecture
today's lecture for all of us thank you very much for listening carefully your attendance is already recorded uh, in the webex so i am not uh, calling your name and other thing right now uh, only three people are there uh, om navle omkar mure uh, datta bharade and four things anand kadav is also there okay who are not active right now Kadar becomes uh, active. Okay, now Kadav is only one who is not active right now. So okay, so I am ending the session. Kadav is also become active. So all are present. Thank you. End session.